guys, welcome back to Area the Stag. TR Tony here, sat in the stag on a Saturday afternoon. A little, a tiny little job that's been getting right on my nerves in recent months, I must say, when I've been out driving the car. Um, and it's just over my right shoulder here. I don't know if you can just see here, but uh, just move the camera around. You can see there the, uh, the rear view um, wing mirror um, that is on the driver's side. And for months and months and months and months and months and months and months, and months that thing has been rattling in its retaining um, chrome container, for want of a better term, um, and has been doing my head in, frankly. Every time I've been out with a drive, out and about with the missus, whatever, all I can hear is this thing rattling in my ear. And uh, yes, I've managed to squash it a few times, I've put a few things in it to wedge it, whatever, but it's never been right. So I just thought I'd, I'd tackle it today, having been out for a nice drive out, a spring drive. And uh, so let me just show you what I've done, and um, perhaps it'll save you a bit of hassle, and uh, save you a bit of money too, you never know. Let's have a look. Okay, so here is the uh, little culprit, and um, whilst it's uh, not in its most resplendent form, nevertheless, it uh, does work. I can see out the back uh, that way, which is good when I'm driving. Um, but what I thought was I'd try and change this mirror such that it didn't rattle. And what I discovered was there's one screw that literally unscrews here and um, takes that whole stem out. So if you unscrew that, I'll have to do this very carefully because I don't want to drop on the drive. Um, you'll see you don't have to take the whole stem out or off the car. Actually, that is the retaining screw that will hopefully come off gently. And there we are, that's, that's come off now. And then literally that whole mirror simply slides out. So that's clever, isn't it? So now we can get at the mirror and go and take it inside and have a look. Okay, so having got the wing mirror in the house now i've just put that screw back in there so i don't lose it it's quite interesting just how far in that went actually much further than i thought it was so uh that was all good um but looking at the mirror itself um obviously a little bit tatty it's been out on the road but um it's been driving me potty because um you can't really see it now but this has been rattling in the chrome outer and as such it's been driving me dotty so um what i did was i'll just show you now very carefully prize out the um, the black rubber um, kind of seal. I've got to do this carefully, obviously, because we don't want to break the, the mirror itself. But it does prise open very, very slowly. If you're lucky to get behind it a little bit, not on the mirror. There you go. So that's now come off. That actually just pops out, which is kind of quite handy. Um, and then you'll find the mirror itself is loose. So again, very, very gently, because I don't want seven years worth of bad luck. You'll find that this actually just prizes out of the uh, retaining chrome cup of the mirror. So there we are. So that's the, that's the glass out now, the mirror bit out. So that's all great. So we can um, look about clean that up in a minute. What I did, um, luckily I've got some foam on a roll I bought many years ago. Um, so I think it was just to do the um, air blower actually, just to pad it up inside. It's sticky one side, it's rubberized, so it's not going to soak up water. And all I did was very basically put it onto the back of the chrome um, wing mirror body itself such that uh, it'll now stop that mirror rattling about as it has been. It's been driving me dotty for a long time rattling in my ear. Um, you'll see that in previous times someone has bent this back a little bit presumably to get a better angle because I know these can be tricky um, if you're tall like me for example to be able to see um, uh, what's in it in the mirror that is so uh, some adjustment there I think you can actually get some wedges that actually go underneath the stem um, in fact I think they're fairly cheap to buy so you can stick those underneath I used to use 5p coins but they kept using the kept losing them um, as it turns out this has been bent um, and is about right for me so um, it works okay so putting it back together very simply all you do is pop your mirror in there make sure it's not going to rattle around and then this chrome big one this rubber uh, surround then literally just snap fits and holds the mirror in against the chrome body itself. So you just got to fiddle about with it, make sure it clips in without breaking the mirror, of course. And you'll find very simply that that is just about it. It's just that last little bit to go, I think, here. So just put that in. Just a bit of a fiddle, but be patient with it. Obviously, not too heavy handed because you don't want it breaking. And make sure it's all linked in. Uh, which it is there, and that seems pretty good. So that's now not going to rattle around like it has been and driving me nuts, as I said. So it's a little job for a Saturday afternoon, but hopefully that helps others out there. You can actually take these off, and I'll show you in just a minute um, 
how you take them off the car but uh, it's literally just one screw that, uh, that holds it to the the stem that's then on the body itself so happy days um, we now have a active mirror just need to take it apart again off camera clean it all up and um, make it look nice but um, I think someone's tried to bodge it with glue or something here before uh, and uh, obviously failed but that ain't rattling you've got no idea what joy that is it's been driving me nuts <laughs> so there we are jobs are good one. and um, here's a little top tip when putting it back um, obviously you need that hole there to be visible in the stem so obviously if the mirror goes back in like this and the secret he says i'm trying to do this with one hand is to i've moved this stem forward so you can actually see now i can get the the hole actually to match up such that i can get the the screw in obviously that's the bit i'm trying to do there we can see my hand isn't it so that's what I'm trying to do is to get that, there you go, if you can see that now I've actually got the hole lined up with the outer so now I can get the screw in. Just a little tip, rather than trying to do it in situ, just bend this arm back up against itself and you can see there you can get right in tight to that. So there you go. Okay so now with the screw back in I can now easily nip that up as you can see here. Um, that's going in nice and easily, just like it did when it came out. I'm um, doing this one-handed, so I'm holding the camera at the same time, so apologies. It's a little bit juddery, but there you go. So, don't know, tighten it, but that's now locked in. That's great, and um, hopefully now we can pull the mirror back. And there we are. Okay, not perfect, but, um, but not bad. And most of all, not blinking and rattling. Happy days. All right, guys, well, I hope that's helped you uh, wherever you are in the world. These mirrors are a bit of a pain when they're not working properly. Such a simple uh, mechanism. It's not difficult at all, is it? But um, uh, trying to bodge it really wasn't the best way of trying to fix it. So hopefully with that little bit of rubber inside, it's now going to make it less rattly and uh, I can have a peaceful, enjoyable drive when I'm out and about and listening to the V8 rather than that rattling noise coming in over the window over my shoulder but there you go so uh, that's it okay guys well i um, hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe please feel free to uh, give us a few thumbs up we're always very grateful for those and um, don't forget either to go to our website and get a Ari the Stag badge of honour and also sign up for our weekly uh, Saturday Sockets email I'm sure you'll find it very good and uh, have a great week and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon cheers for now bye